All right, sorry about that uh, technical difficulty. Uh, so what happened was uh, I ran out of room on my phone, so I, or my wife's phone actually. But anywho, I came into that revelation that you know that we don't have to be afraid of God, as like through Todd Bentley and whatnot, that you know that we can play in the anointing, that we can be like children and. You know, I, we're called the body of Christ. I mean, what marriage is a healthy marriage where one person is afraid of the other one or controlled by the other one? I mean, that's pretty messed up where it's a mutual love relationship and that we can play and just be ourselves with God. And I came into that revelation where I don't have to cower and be afraid that God's going to strike me dead. I can be real, really. I don't have to be a religious robot, a religious puppet. Well, anywho. And, but you know, backtracking back to 94, I started experiencing all this intense power. And I thought I was going to be like the next Benny Hinn. I mean, if, where I felt like so much power running through my arms. I was like, oh my goodness, this is kind of power that raises people from the dead. But, uh, I just started to think, and, and it was like an LST trip. I was just so caught up, and I'm still that way, but I've gotten used to it. But I'm just believing for a new level where I'm overwhelmed and unfunctional again. But, um, but anyhow, I was strongly nudged to go to the seminary for Foursquare. Love their roots, power signs, wonders. This is a street revival, but uh, I met my wife there, that's a positive thing, and at least now I know how religious people think, you know, I know how they think and how, why they do what they do, it's basically you're taught to run church like a business, it has nothing to do with uh, Holy Spirit at all. Well, I can say anyhow, man. But, anyhow, then I, on, on the internet, through iTunes, like a video teaching, I ran into John Crowder, and he started bringing the Christian mysticism, and I could really connect with that, where it was putting the encountering on a whole different level. Just uh, enjoying heaven and f even where stuff that you thought was a cult is actually for the body of Christ. We got that from Bethel, you know, with the shamans that would travel on the grid lines. That that's our; those are our grid lines. It belongs to the kingdom of heaven. But, uh, anywho, I, now I'm at this place where, I don't know, I'm kind of in limbo where, you know, I decided that I'm going to go back to making YouTube videos and whatnot. I feel like I really have a place in the body of Christ to just share in the cyber world. Seems like whenever I try to function in institutional church, it just gets really weird. I know I live in Maricopa, Arizona, and I thought about checking out Patricia King's church when I'm not working. Right now my work schedule interferes with it, but you know, before I draw it to a close, I I just, you know, I just want to share something with all of you that... Okay, here's the deal. I, I've had some monetary challenges, some unexpected expenses that have come my way, and my finances are being challenged right now. But 
I don't want to do any e-bake and I just want to just put it out on the table that if anyone, if it's on your heart, to go to heavyglory.com and just throw some seed at me. I mean, it would be much appreciated, but no pressure or anything, you know, it's just, you know, I just got to really believe that, you know, God is my uh, shad, he's my shaddai, he's my supplier of all my needs, according to his riches and glory. You know, I just throwing that out there anyhow, but, you know, if anybody wants to get all, you know, whacked up with me in the spirit, I'm, you know, where I'm at, send me a message if you're ever in Arizona. Talk to you later.